Hey, what's going on, everybody out there in the world? Ladies and gentlemen, men and women, males and females. Welcome back to another video. Um, today, I want to do a little something different. I want to talk about a tragic story that took its place. And um, this was with a family of four. It was a husband by the name of Louis Toledo. And it was a wife named Yesenia Sorez. Spanish folks. Um, Lewis came into Yesenia's life and helped her with her two children. Um, she was single at the time and he came in and became a stepfather to the family. And um, however, he was a great husband at the beginning, you know, and it was a beautiful family, y'all. Um, this is something new. I'm trying to touch you on something that I witnessed that touched my heart. And I figure I speak on this. Um, Lewis was a Latin king and he changed his life over. Um, and he changed his life over for the best. Um, he had some uh, political um, litigations, rather um, when it comes to getting in trouble with law enforcement or so. And Yesenia was in his corner and they had a beautiful, happy family. Um, and however, she began cheating she began cheating at work with this guy named kevin and um lewis found out uh, more likely he seen text messages or whatnot and arrived at her job and when he arrived at her job he he confronted kevin and confronted yesenia and you know i'm pretty sure his spirit was broke because you know he stepped into this woman's life and became a stepfather and taking care and you know treating those kids as if they was his biologically and um to know that she ended up cheating on him it just tore her spirit apart so however um she said she was sorry she was crying he smacked her inside the office with the door closed or whatever inside the job and he got arrested for that he got arrested for that um i'm not clear on rather charges was dropped or not but um, more likely she was staying at the moms and the kids had, she was staying at the moms and the kids was at the moms with her as well. And um, however, she wanted to go back home. She wanted to go back home and sleep in her bed and, you know, be comfortable. So I'm, you know, pretty sure they, they was trying to work things out, but things was turning even for the worse. Um, however, um, he basically, Lewis was confronting Kevin on an aspect of trying to see if she was still talking to him. So she was basically trying to cut it off with Kevin, letting him know I can't continue this, this, um, you know, this, this comfortability of sneaking around with you. We have to uncomfort this. And um, Lewis took the phone, which is the husband. Uh, Mr. Toledo took the phone and text him saying, um, can we meet? Can we meet this night? Can we meet at night or whatever? So Kevin called her back. And when Kevin called her back, she told Kevin that wasn't her that wrote that. So he got upset. They got into an argument or whatnot over that. He went and supposed to slept in his car. He went and supposed to slept in his car. And when he slept in his car, he that's what he said he slept in his car after he seen the neighbor uh, down two doors down or whatnot. However, he told the neighbor, well, he told the police that he told the neighbor, let's go in the house because she don't like us playing a video game. So let's go in the house and play the video game. And mind you, it was like three, four o'clock in the morning because he's supposed to be he's supposed to be sleeping in his car. He was that hurt because, you know, um, she was texting back and forth with that guy or whatnot. And there was still something going on with them that he felt that was taking its place. And um, when he went in the house, they start playing a video game. She's supposed to have got upset, came out and grabbed him and scratched them all on his neck saying, get off the game or whatnot, snapping on him. And when he snapped on her back, he posed a hit in her neck, rather chopped her in her neck or punched in her neck, whatever it was. But she held her neck staring at him and it pretty much killed her from what he was indicating. 
That's what he told the law enforcement that he killed them. And um, he said the neighbor that was down the street, I forgot the guy's name. I don't want to get the lion. But two doors down, the guy took the children in the bathroom so they won't see what's going on and see their mom suffering the way she were. And he tried to blame it on the neighbor, saying the neighbor blunted the children with an axe or so. All he heard was pow, pow. And um, the neighbor indicated later on in the story that, that he ain't do that. They they found evidence that the neighbor ain't had nothing to do with that. So he did that. Lewis did that. Lewis, whatever happened to them children, Lewis did that. And however, they arrested Lewis. To this day, um, actually, let me rewind backwards a little bit. Uh, when it comes to them investigating the neighbor two doors down, he explained the story about taking him, taking Lewis somewhere to take the kids, drop the kids off or whatever, or take, you know, take bags or something somewhere. But then he mentioned to law enforcement, and this is the neighbor two doors down. Start, his name start with a T. I forgot it. But the neighbor said something about Lewis looked at him and said, I snapped. And he don't know where the family at. And Lewis said he ain't telling where the family is at. So now instead of them giving Lewis the death penalty, Lewis ended up getting life in prison. And he still wouldn't tell where the bodies is at. So to this day, Yesenia, Soares, and the children is missing. No one can find them. No one is no one. No one knows where they're located at. Hopefully, they can find the bodies of this family. Um, this is a very sad, tragic story. And the moral of the story is: people, be very careful on who y'all dealing with, and who y'all antagonizing, and you know who hearts y'all breaking. Because not everybody is taking it lightly of you cheating on them and. After they doing everything, after they have done everything for you, you know, this is a sad ending that this 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 family had to, you know, go through this. I feel bad for the both. I don't justify uh, what Lewis done was not justifiable. What he done, I do not condone. I don't glorify that. And what she done, I don't glorify that either when it comes to cheating on him and creeping around with the co-worker, Kevin. When she knows she had a good man that stepped in her life and as well as them children's life to be a father. We in a messed up world. And many of you out there that's going through circumstances in this category, according to the story that I'm telling, just know that you're not alone. There's people that's going through and have went through worse and there's many people who snapping out and throwing the rest of their life away over these people, over the nonsense. And there's people that's moving forward and being happy in life and living life the way they should, knowing that everything is not going to be perfect. I want to say rest in peace to that family. And... Lewis definitely got what he deserved when it comes to prison time. It was horrible that this had to end this way because it was a beautiful family that took its place. And there's many circumstances in this category that's happening as we speak. Please do not be one of them. If you get cheated on, if you get lied to and betrayed, get as far as away from that person as possible and they'll run into their own karma. Peace and love, everybody out there. Stay safe. Your boy, I'm gone.